Welcome to lab 10, properties of gases. So first we're going to be using a syringe, a gas pressure sensor, LabQuest, and we have a computer to calculate on Logger Pro. So first we're gonna connect the syringe to the gas pressure sensor. Gently, you don't have to screw on super tight. You already have five ml gas? Yes, mm -hmm. and there are five mls. It's pulled back to the five ml mark on the syringe already. Of air. of air. So then you connect the gas pressure sensor to channel one of the LabQuest. And then you connect the LabQuest from Vernier, connect that to the computer. Next, you open up Logger Pro. <laughs> and you go to File, Open. Then you select Advanced Chemistry with Vernier. Go down to Lab 30A. Just gases and you click on that. Okay. Next you want to change your pressure to atmospheres. So to do that you go to Data. Then you select Column Options. Select Pressure. Then you select ATM, which is atmospheres. It should, there we go. So now we're gonna start collecting data and we have five data points at five mLs, 7.5 mLs, 10 mLs, 12.5 mLs, 15 mLs and 17.5 mLs. In order to do that, we're gonna pull back on this. After we collect the first data, <laughs> we're gonna pull back to each data point. So first you press collect to start collecting the data. So now we're already at five ml, so we're going to keep this data point. And we're gonna input our volume, which we are at five mls, and we're in milliliters. 5.0. It is, five, there you go, okay. Then, ooh. <laughs> you can keep that. Now you're gonna pull back to 7.5. Pull the plunger back to 7.5 mLs. Okay, as he's holding it there, I'm going to collect that data point. You there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you keep that data point and then you enter in. We are at 7.5 mLs, so we want to keep that. Okay, now we go... Okay, our next data point is at 10 mLs. So once he gets to 10, I'm going to watch the pressure and wait for it to stabilize, and then I will keep that data point. It's looking pretty stable, so I'm gonna keep, and we're at 10 mLs. So I'm gonna keep that. Okay, next we have 12.5. So he's gonna pull back all the way to 12.5. And I'm going to watch the pressure as it stabilizes. Looking pretty good. At 12.5. And then I'll keep that. Okay, next data point is 15 ml. So you're going to pull all the way back to 15. Watch the pressure stabilize. Keep. We're at 15 ml. And last, we have 17.5. For the pressure to stabilize. Looking good. And now we're at 17.5. Okay. Then you stop. And now you have your graph. Now that you have your data points, you want to make it a curved fit so you have your graph. So first you want to auto scale, so you right click on one of the points. There should be an auto scale button. Now you want to make your curve fit, so you'll go to analyze. You click on the curve fit. We have an inverse function here, so we want to find the inverse. Click on it. Um, try fit. Now we press OK, and there's the graph.
and our data points. <laughs> Use this table to answer questions one and two in the analysis. And in this part. And that part. So now for part two, we have connected our flask with our stopper to the gas pressure sensor that is still in channel one. And then we're going to connect this temperature probe to channel two. So it's set up there. So we're going to start collecting data points at our zero degrees Celsius. So he's put ice in our water bath and submerged the flask. So we're recording, we started recording, or <laughs> collecting. So we have pressure and temperature, and we're trying to get it as close to zero degrees Celsius or 273 Kelvin as possible, and wait for our pressure to equilibrate before we collect that data point. Okay, yeah. so equilibrated and he collected that data point. Our next temperature would be 30 degrees Celsius? Yes, or 300. He's going to dump the ice water out, get some new water, and then we'll put it on the hot plate. Or we'll test the temperature. <laughs> okay. Oh. We're a bit above. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we want the temperature to equilibrate. It's at 307, but we need 300 like, Kelvin. We're like 30. 300? We're like at 35. 34 degrees Celsius. That's, that's good enough. Well, yeah. And we're waiting for the pressure to equilibrate before we collect the data point. Never mind. <laughs> she just doesn't want to stop. <laughs> oh, look. Wait, no. Never mind. <laughs> 50, no? Oh, it's looking. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. our pressure is still going lower. It's not kind of staying constant. So it looks like our pressure is staying relatively constant there, so we're going to keep that data point. Okay. Okay. Okay, our next temperature is 60 degrees Celsius, or around 333 Kelvin. Three, we have 330. Wow. That's great. Three, please. So, he's put, putting the flask in, and we're going to wait for the pressure to equilibrate, and then we'll collect or keep that data point. So it looks like it's at equilibrium, so we'll just keep, keep that data point. <laughs> next temperature. <laughs> okay, our next is it... temperature is 90 degrees Celsius. Okay, if it's under by like 20 degrees. Like... Okay, so we're going to just take some exceptions <laughs> with it. <laughs> so we're going to wait for the pressure to equilibrate. That's Dr. Farn. Stirs it. And it looks like it's hit equilibrium, so we're going to keep that data point. Okay, so you might notice that our linear fit doesn't exactly fit straight on the lines, and that is because we are doing this <laughs> at home, and the stopper wasn't exactly fitting the flask, so we did have to try and tape it, 
but when glass gets hot it does expand so there was still some leakage from of pressure from the flask so that's why our line doesn't exactly fit on our graph